guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I wanted to do my kind of no foundation makeup look that I've been doing a lot recently and also tie it in with a kind of Q&A so it's going to be a get ready with me, it's going to be chilled out and I'm just going to pop the tiniest amount of makeup on my face so if you guys are curious I will leave all of the makeup products in the description box down below and this particular look, I actually did a blog post on it, if you guys didn't know, I now have a blog, so I will leave that linked somewhere or in the description box down below, so let's just jump straight into it. So I've been kind of wearing no foundation for a while now, to be entirely honest, it's been mainly since I've been working as a makeup artist. I feel like my skin has improved. Uh, recently, the past couple of months, it's really gotten better and I just feel a lot more um, comfortable with my skin now so um, I haven't really been wearing tons of makeup, um, especially foundation to be honest. One question that I've gotten quite a lot is how did you and Chris meet? So Chris and I have actually known each other for a very long time, um, he's always kind of been just around, we used to go camping um, together as children, like really young children and we have been together for the past year and May, June, we've been together for a year and two months now so yeah, I don't feel like there's a kind of definitive answer to how we met, um, I kind of just knew him, he was kind of just always always around. So the next question that I got asked was which country would you like to see the most? I think South Korea is definitely up there, uh, kind of in like my top five. I would love to go to New Zealand. The next question was, so you have a blog now, does that mean that you're going to kind of stop making YouTube videos? Uh, quite obviously I'm, I'm making a YouTube video right now, so no. I made my blog so that I could talk about things that didn't necessarily need to have an entire YouTube video dedicated to them. Like I made a blog post the other day that was tips on how I stay organised and things like that. Um, I have recipes that I put up there and various different things. Um, I just think it's nice to expand on different platforms and be able to kind of connect with people and share things with people. Um, in different, you know, in different spaces. So that's why my blog is there. Um, I will be making YouTube videos probably until I die, unless I get really bored of it. So uh, no, I will. I will still be making YouTube videos. Don't you worry. So the look that I'm kind of going for is like a very warm orange, blown out kind of, kind of like a peachy colour so um, I'm first going to take this shade here from Makeup Geek and it is Early Bird. So I'm just going to take Early Bird on a fluffy brush and just put that into the crease. The eyeshadow that I've been wearing recently is very much, it's kind of blown out but it's not the most perfect eyeshadow look you've ever seen. It's more just like a wash of colour um, and I like to be able to do it in kind of five minutes. Another question that I got asked was favourite Lush products and I have them right here. So there's actually two and they're both very similar, they both have pretty much exactly the same ingredients in them. The first one is the Lush Grease Lightning Spot Treatment, this has tea tree and witch hazel in it, you pop it on a spot, leave it overnight, it gets rid of it, it's amazing. And the second one is the tea tree toner water, it is tea tree, it's antiseptic, it's really good for your skin. I spray this on my skin twice a day, a.m. and p.m. and I'm absolutely in love with this stuff. So I'm just going to dip into my Modern Renaissance palette and take a mixture of raw sienna and burnt orange and just pop that kind of all over the lid. So someone asked, um, do you prefer vlogging or sit down videos, which I think is a, is a really good question because to be honest, I don't really know myself. I do really like vlogging because um, I like how casual it feels but then I am a really big fan of sit down videos because I think they're usually quite quite informative. 
I feel like in vlogs you guys get a feel for, you know, my type of lifestyle and things that I'm doing, but because I don't really talk, I feel like you don't really get to know me as well as what you do in sit down videos where I'm actually talking one to one to you guys and things like that. So it's really difficult. I like uh, I like each of them for, for different reasons. So just for a little bit more definition on my lashes, I'm going to take Cypress Umber on a Zoeva Luxe Precise shader. Another question that I was asked recently is what is your favourite song at the moment? And at the moment, I would say my favourite song is Ghost by Poreki and Sing. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, um, but I absolutely love that song. I'm absolutely obsessed with my eyelash extensions. I'm in love. I wish I got them sooner. So like I said, I don't apply uh, foundation as much anymore. So I'm just going to take my Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer um, and just pop this in the places that I need it. So typically under my eyes, kind of on my chin, any red patches that I might have like around my nose. And uh, that's pretty much it. I actually filmed this look on Instagram um, a couple of days ago, which was, it was quite fun. It was a nice little quick tutorial and I thought it was quite nice to do. But if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, go hit me up because I love talking to people on Instagram. So moving on to the lower lash line, I'm just going to take a mixture of raw sienna and burnt orange again and just pop that on my lower lash line and really smoke it out. And then I'm going to go ahead and take Tempera, which is just a kind of white skin tone, flesh tone kind of colour. And I'm just going to pop that on my inner corners just to highlight a bit. Moving on to the skin, I'm going to go and bronze with a mixture of Benefits Hula Light and Hula. So moving back to the questions, another one is if you had to live on a deserted island, what three things would you take with you? I would take my my dog Bono for sure. Um, then I would probably take my laptop, and I would also take DVDs of Pride and Prejudice, which is my all-time favorite film, and Wonder Woman when it comes out on DVD. So to highlight, because I do want the skin to look glowy. I still want it to look natural, so I'm going to take a mixture of Gilded Honey and Peach Glow by Laurie Geller. So another question that I got was favourite book you've read this year, and by far, I haven't even finished reading it, it would 100% have to be Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. So now that all of the questions are done, the last thing that I'm going to take is this colour in the Anastasia Lip Kit and it is number 3. So this is a finished look, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, I hope I answered all of your questions. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one guys.